back to my channel. My name is Michelle and this is Life is a Treasure YouTube channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope that you enjoy this video and I would love to have you as a subscriber. So I am bringing you a what sold and a thrift haul. And the reason I'm combining it is because I have a few items that have sold in the last day or two. And um, I also went thrifting. I go thrifting every Tuesday. And that is my thrifting day. And so I found some awesome, awesome deals. And I want to show them to you. So I wanted to just like start off with um, a story time because last video, if you watched it, I had a little situation where I had sold a pair of shorts, these brand new BDG cut off distress shorts, and she had bundled it with a t-shirt, a tank shop, tank graphic tee, and it said Los Angeles, but I think that I accidentally donated it when I was going through my inventory, but so I told her I'm so sorry, and I told her she could either cancel her order or pick anything from a closet under $28 because I have tons of items under $28 for free. I would just ship it with the jeans. And so um, she said, okay, sure, which I was so grateful because on the last video, I was like, come back, see if she canceled the order or what did she decide to do? So she decided to purchase another pair of shorts. Well, for me, I thought, okay, she purchased one size and then she purchased a, a different size. But, okay, maybe she wanted two different sizes, whatever. So, I go and I'm pulling it out and I'm making sure this is the exact pair. And I realize I made a mistake. Again, y'all, we're human. This was, I had a lot of uh, brand new Tad BD shorts at one point. So, it was confusing to me, like just to inventory it and then all that. So, what happened was I accidentally put the wrong size you know, when I chose the size on Poshmark. So in my photos, in my description, I state one size, but the size listed under my Poshmark was a different size. So at that point, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to have to invest in this girl again and, um, you know, tell her. So I ended up having, oh, I noticed that these are button fly. But anyway, I noticed I had one other pair in her original size, the size she wanted. So I just said, you know what? I'm going to just send her three pairs of shorts <laughs> and that's that. And I will just, if I lost anything, it's okay. It was my mistake in the first place. I should have made sure that when I donated that item that I took it off of my Poshmark closet. So that was my mistake, number one. Secondly, again, I found I made a mistake when I entered that, that, that size. Now, I am so careful when I enter stuff, but... You know, we're always doing so many things. We have to at the same time, and it just happens, and we're human. We're not, even computers mess up, so we're not robots, but you know what? They mess up too. So, on with the what soul. But, so here's the thing with this. So, the way I put looked at this was, I paid um, $5 each for these shorts, and um, they sold for $35. Now, again, she got another bonus because originally our deal was $40 for that uh, the first bundle. So what she did though is she put another item in. She sent me an offer for $35. Again, I felt really bad for what happened. So I said I was happy to accept that. Because even accepting that at $35, and that's only for two. But I'm going to be sending her three pairs of brand new shorts. My earnings came out to $28 because she paid $35 for the bundle, and I paid $15 for all three. So that makes my net profit $13, $4.50 each, which is great to me. And um, so if I wouldn't have messed up with the sizing in the description, my profit would have been $18. So I basically, you know... I'm giving her the $5 profit in a pair of shorts for my mistake, and I very much hope that she's happy or satisfied, but we always, I always try to make my customers happy as best that I can. Sometimes you just can't, but I at least, I at least try, and especially if I'm in the wrong, if I overlook something, or that kind of thing, so. 
that is how it was resolved. So I hope she's going to be happy. I'll probably, I will definitely send her a message to not surprise her and tell her what happened. Probably before I actually ship it, just to make sure she's a okay with it. But at this point, that is the saga of the shorts. Okay. Moving along, I have an Aeropostale shirt that sold. I've had this shirt for quite a while in my closet. This is when um, I used to pick up shirts. I just don't anymore unless they're a dollar or two dollars. And um, this one I ended up paying for. So I paid three. It sold. So it sold for sixteen. My earnings were ten. I paid three. So my profit on this T-shirt was seven dollars. So yeah, I'm very grateful for that. So that's the first item, the second item that sold. Then I had another bundle. And so this was an experiment. I had a few shirts. I have a lot of shirts to list a whole closet full. And to list one shirt and to pay shipping on one shirt, it's sometimes, I just don't know. I just thought about this. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try doing a bundle. So what I did is I just took and I put pit to pit measurement on each one. But... I took this shirt right here and it was a 1X, but it's not that big, it's vintage size. So I took this one and this one right here, which is one size fits all, and it's Peacocks. That one was Birds. And then this Jones of New York, which is an XL. And it's very stretchy, elastic at the waistband. So I put pit to pit measurements under each shirt that was listed. I listed these at, I forgot what I priced the bundle at, but I always offer free shipping on my bundles of two or more items. So she bundled, so I had this already as a bundle. So all she did was send me an offer, but she also included this shirt, which is an XL Miss Look Tulip shirt. So she had the bun, she had my bundle package and this shirt in her bundle. And she, um, let's see, so it ended up, she sent me an offer, I countered back, it sold for, the bundle sold for $48, and my earnings were 30 So I added up, because I paid like $1 for a few of them, and 5 for the others. So basically I took what I paid, which was a total of 13 for these shirts, and Subtracted that from my earnings of thirty, and my profit was seventeen dollars, which comes out to about four twenty-five for each shirt. Very happy with that. So that was a that's an idea. It helped me sell four shirts in one sale. So I'm definitely, definitely gonna be doing a lot more bundles. Um. Oh, okay. Let's see. Hold on. A purse. So the, the other thing that sold was this Dooney and Burt purse story on this was I had it listed the lady you know she offered me $64 and I sold it to her and then something happened she canceled the order well you can't get rid of that comp now it's there like even though the order is canceled Poshmark doesn't remove that listing and so I know there were comments and questions when I relisted it higher what was the difference why is it different so it's sad until it was down to the $64 and you know I didn't have to sell it but I paid $28 I wanted my profit so I let it go for $64 it's like brand new it's taupe it's red inside it's beautiful Dooney Burke so uh, my earnings are $51 like I said I paid $28 my profit on this is $23 going to Alabama the, I didn't mean to say it like that Alabama but the um, bundle of four shirts is going to Tennessee and the Aeropostale T-shirts going to Missouri. Okay. And then and the next item that sold was red shoes, which I love selling red shoes. So it are these Merrill Dansko. Dansko. Yeah. Shoes. They're suede red. They did have a little scuff, big scuff. I showed photos close up. I disclosed that. And it was also definitely re reflected in the cost because she and I, she made me an offer of $17. I accepted it because my earn I paid $2 for these. So my earnings were 13. My profit was 11 and they're going to Massachusetts. So not bad. Alrighty. The next item that I sold is something I am extremely excited about and excited to tell you. 
So, I have never found this brand before. I've heard so much about it. This was gonna be in my haul, but it sold immediately. So it's gonna be in this portion of the video because it's sold, but it is Lafayette 148. The story behind it is I heard about this brand and I kept seeing this other brand, apartment with like an apartment number nine or something. It was apartment number. And I kept getting mixed up and I think I found this one, but it wasn't. And I said, I have to remember that name. Well, my kids were born in Lafayette. I've lived in Lafayette like the most of my adult life. So I was like, okay, just remember. That's how you're gonna remember. When you see that Lafayette, that's it. <laughs> And I saw it yesterday and oh my gosh, I was so excited because I looked, I knew it was linen. I looked inside, it's 100% linen. No flaws whatsoever. It has this side slit right here. You can go on my Poshmark and check out the photos of it. It is gorgeous. Well, this thing got some attention immediately and then it, she sent, then I had a little counter offer going with this lady. Because I just listed it. I wanted to see how it was going to do. This is my very first Lafayette 148 piece. So, it was size 8. I mean, it was a great, great, everything about it, okay? And so, I had it listed, I want to say over 100. And I think she originally offered me something lower, way low. And I countered, and then she countered. And we ended up agreeing, I settled and agreed to $72 is what she paid. My earnings were 57 Look, she got a deal on this. These dresses are so expensive. So, her, my earnings were fifty-seven sixty. dollars I just purchased this. It, I paid seventeen fifty dollars yesterday. So, in one day, this is a quick flip. This is a Bolo brand. Be on the lookout. This has profited me $40.10. So, I purchased this yesterday, and today, it brought me $40. So, Extremely grateful, and this is heading out to Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles, California, and whoever's going to be wearing this is going to be looking really, really in style. This is a beautiful dress. I will forever be looking for this brand, Lafayette 148, and you should too. Perfect color as well for uh, uh, fall. The sun's making it look really orange. It's more of a burnt orange color, so I just think this is a gorgeous dress, and I'm super excited that it sold so fast for it and it made me $40 so I'm grateful grateful now let's get into the haul portion now the first item that I want to share with you is this free people now the reason I want to share is it's really popular right now in my closet new with tag size small now this is free people is one of my favorite very favorite brands I love their style they're bohemian um, just floral embroidery style, but this right here is called their their name for this top is tied to you because of the tied shoulders. So tied to you, and it's also called wrap style. So it has a little snap right here. So this is a wrap top with elastic at the waist, and it is just gorgeous. Uh, let me be still and let you see the pretty flowers and this one had the name of the colors fiesta combo new with tags and that price retail is $78 so definitely wanted to pick this one up another free people piece is this one I saw found which is a sheer in the back it's opened it's embroidery it has the cinching at the waist and then the ruffle embroidery bottom and so this one is I call it a cover-up dress periwinkle this tool sheer so just a really pretty light beautiful dress by free people okay the next item that I found was this one is a Diane Vaughn Furstenberg skirt and Diane Vaughn first Furstenberg I'll show you the tag. I also want to show you this close up because this is a 100% silk. It's like this die cut mini skirt. The name inside of it is Ganita, and Ganita means reminiscence. 
So that's what they named this skirt right here. And Diane von Furstenberg started in 1970, and in 1974, she created the wrap dress. So that's an interesting tidbit about Diane. And I have recently picked up a cover-up that's a silk of hers and another dress that's currently in my closet. So I just really love her pieces, and I just wanted, let me show you how this is made. So it has like the holes here. It's like a late tiered dress. So then underneath is another fabric. And so it's a really cool piece. And then it has the black lining. Super cute. And it has a zip on the side. And in case you're curious, it's a size four. Okay. The next item that I found was this vintage skirt. And at first I could not find out, figure out the name. It was like Aqua something of London. I knew it was vintage when I found it. I'm not sure if it's going to zoom in, y'all, but I'm trying. Anyway, I found it, and it is, says, Aqua, so I did my research, and it came out to Aqua Scutum, Scutum S-C-U-T-U-M, how my notes are here, of London. Now, so I'll tell you some little facts about this. It was created, it's a British-based company since 1851, and they created luxury pieces. This is 100% wool, pleated. It's cream with brown and black houndstooth. Has these beautiful gold buttons on the front, two of them, and they actually are functional. So it opens up like a wrap skirt, and the back is the pleated. So it's like very, very unique, interesting skirt. I just think it is so beautiful. So. Yeah, this one, the company Aqua Scutum of London, um, they are known for their trench coats, and a lot of royalty and celebrities have actually worn their trench coats. So that's just an interesting p uh, fact about this company who made this one in terms of wool. I could see this with some leggings in the fall, bodysuit, some little black booties. So, so, I could just see this used in so many cute, unique ways with gold jewelry, earrings to pick up the gold in it. Okay, moving along, I found this dress right here. It reminded me of mod cloth because of the novelty print. So, it's like a woman, lady with an umbrella and clouds. And, uh, let's see, let me show you the label. Heroines. And it zips at the back. And so if you saw in Mother Halls, I had a crawfish, mud cloth crawfish dress. I had one that had corgis on it. The novelty print, they both sold really quickly. So when I saw this, I thought it was that, but it was not. And I looked at the brand, and this is just a vintage. I can't find hardly any information. But inside has a label saying Robin with an E is the name of it, the style. And then it says Design in Paris with Love. And so it's really just like this vintage romantic Paris with pockets, very casual but elegant, romantic, classic vibes. So I wanted to pick this one up and sell it. The next piece is a Bowden dress, which I have so good. I love selling Bowden. It's a British uh, brand out of the UK. And this is their Riviera shirt dress that is belted. So this is mostly cotton, and Bowden targets women in their 30, like 35, with kids, and they just want you to feel comfy, you know, move around easily, but yet still look cute, cut, and casual and stylish. So that's what Bowden is about, and I always pick up Bowden pieces pretty much all the time if they're not flawed. So no exception, t-shirt dress, cotton, stretchy, blue and white goes into the fall so nicely. All right, moving along, I have this one right here, which is another favorite brand of mine because it's a woman entrepreneur and her brand is Ivy Jane. You think her name was Jane, but her is her it's not. Her name is Frances Malik. She started the company in 1986 in Dallas, Texas. She's out of Dallas. 
So this is actually called a cover up, but I think it, it's also a dress, but it's a real light, light, and if you can tell, terry cloth fabric. So it's definitely this cotton with the little tassels, so cute for summer. So I wanted to get this one in my closet. And all of these are already listed in my Poshmark closet. I always have the link in the description below. The next item I have is this Vineyard Vines. Let's go with that because this one's a new one tagged and it's also a cover up. So I really have almost like three cover ups this time. If you count the free people, one. So here you go Vineyard Vines, new with tags. This one's called a cover up. It's very light, it's a sear sucker. So, so cute. It has the functional pockets. It has the little whale on the back. It velcros to give you some size 12. Um, there's no slit. It's like, it's like a t-shirt dress too. So this one retails at $138. So someone's going to get a really good deal on this. No, nothing wrong with it. it. Pristine condition, brand new with tags. And did I say? Yeah, retail is 120, $128. On their website right now, it's $138. Yeah. Okay. Next item is this one. I almost always feel like I have a Moulinette Soray's dress in my hauls, and I love that. This is by Anthropology. They make this brand. Um, and this is, and Anthropology is actually owned by Urban Outfitters, so. It, this is a really thick dress. I couldn't feel it. This is a pocket. They have pockets on it. And like how nice is that when you have an, like an evening date night dress but with pockets? Very heavy. It's like lined with many lay, a few layers as you can see. So this one is a size 6 and it has this gold embellishment. I want to come closer and just move, stop moving so you can see this. The detail is gorgeous in this dress. So yeah, this one is already listed as well. Navy blue with the gold. Okay, I've never found this brand. I've been looking to be on the lookout for love and lemons. The first time I have found this brand for love and lem lemons, I was so excited. And I get home and I notice that as I was getting taking photos, it's unstitched right here, which isn't a big deal because there's not a hole all the way through. I took photos of this close up and the back, and it would be an easy fix. I know still someone is going to want this dress because this, the print is still on their website. And the print is, let's see, they call it the Flamenco mini dress. And for Love and Lemons, it's two women that were childhood friends from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And they always would have lemonade stands and they were very successful in that and always talks about starting like a fashion place. So they started their fashion venture in 2011 and um, they're now in Los Angeles, California. So two women um, started the company in 2011 for the love of lemons started with two friends who had lemonade stands. I think that's a great, great story. So I'll just share it with you. But the sad news is somebody cut the label out and they might have brought it down, but I can't guarantee. So anyway, I had to list all of that, but I'm still hopeful. This is a beautiful dress. Someone's still going to want it because they uh, retail, I'm going to say over a hundred dollars. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful dress right here. And this one, if you're curious, is a size small. Alrighty, and then the next item I'm going to share, which is actually the last one, because I did have to share with you um, the Lafayette 148, but it sold. So we're going to go with this being our last one, which is a new brand to me as well, America and Beyond. So this was two siblings who started out in their in India, and so they have all of their, uh, all of their, pieces are made in India and this is called their Jaguar jumpsuit. Jaguar Paradise jumpsuit and it's went viral on um, Instagram and everyone talks about having a Jaguar jungle party, JJ party, so cute little t 
tidbit about this one right here. I thought it was beautiful before I knew all that. It's a romper. You know I'm loving rompers this summer. And it is a really wide flare leg. leg. Super cool and comfortable. Um, I want to say it's made with a certain kind of cotton. I'd have to look. But anyway, so they call, so America and Beyond. So they always had a dream of taking their arts, their artisan work and going into America. So that's why they called it America and Beyond. So that's a pretty interesting, cool story. I will buy this brand again, America and Beyond. I like what they do. And so anyway, that's all I know for that. This is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like it's some really fun pieces. I couldn't wait to show these to you. They're all listed. I've been a busy little bee. I listed everything before I did the haul today. And now I'm going to be packing up my items that sold so I can take them to the post office. And they will be on their way. I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.